What up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> Coming L-I-V-E from the Dillard Estate, right? How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are having an incredible day so far. Not going to wait for this thing to build up an audience. I got plenty of things to do, but I wanted to come to you guys and talk about a couple of issues uh, real quick that I believe people are dealing with. But while I do that, you guys are going to see me make a shake. So just finished the workout. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just finished a, just finished a workout and um, I'm going to take care of this shake and then take care of some business. But I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of issues real quick. I know people deal with every single day. Um, um, had a chance to speak to a good friend of mine this morning and uh, he was talking to me about some issues that he was having in his profession. Um, he's actually a coach. Um, he's a young guy, he's a great coach, incredible, incredible coach, and uh, he, he's aspiring to get D1 and do some things in head coaching positions, but he was talking to me about his team, and he said that right now they don't have the right set of, set of habits um, that are leading to their success. So I want to talk to you about that, and also want to talk to you about jealousy, right? Um, it's a huge, huge difference between being jealous and being inspired, all right, understand that everything that I talk to you guys about, it's something that I've dealt with in my life before. So you may see people every single day that may seem to be zooming past you, right? They may be doing incredible in their business, and their profession. They may be excelling at, a, at, at an all-time high. But understand that just because they are in a different profession, just because they are, um, quote-unquote, exceeding uh, the expectations that you may have for your individual life does not mean that you have to jump ship and do what they do, all right? I want you to understand that the seed that you've planted in your mind, and I'm talking to the entrepreneurs right now because I know a lot of the people that watch me are entrepreneurs. You probably have your own business. You're probably a part of our business or you're aspiring to be an entrepreneur and run your own deal. So understand that the seed that you planted a long time ago, your vision uh, that you had for your company, your vision that you had for your business, vision that you had for your life is completely different from the seed that they may have planted long, long ago, all right? A lot of times people will compare their disadvantages uh, to people's, sometimes to people's highlight reels, right? We get a chance to see everything that's going on on their Facebook life or on their Instagram or on their Snapchat, and we don't get a chance to see the struggle that they've gone through. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be in an environment where I get a chance to rub shoulders with a lot of successful entrepreneurs and you know, some are old, some are younger. And I had to ask myself at one point, you know, is this going to be the best thing for me? And what I'm doing right now, is that going to put me in a position to obtain all the goals, the dreams, the aspirations that I have for myself and my family? And the reason why I titled this, Don't Do That, is because I want you guys to understand, when you really, really understand yourself, all right, th this is going to cause you, and I don't know what your religion is, but I, I do believe, right? So, this is going to be very, very important that you maintain a relationship with your Heavenly Father. It's going to be very important that you have a relationship, that you understand your calling, that you're in tune with your purpose. Because if you are not, if you don't have a definite purpose, if you don't have a mag magnificent obsession for what you want to do in your life, it's going to be very, very easy for you to be distracted by, uh, by other opportunities, shall I say. Um, it's going to be so important that at times you just simply say, I'll pass. OK, our past. If you think about everybody that's been successful and what they individually do, I don't care if you talk about the Jay-Z's, the Beyonce's, the Serena Williams, uh, the Oprah. You want to talk about Bill Gates. You want to talk about people that have made a ding in the universe. Right. Steve Jobs. If you want to talk about maybe people that, you know, personally, whatever they are successful doing, they made sure they did that for their entire Life. They dedicated a portion of their life. I, I like to say it's going to be at least five to seven years for you to master the industry that you're a part of. Right. Um, right now, obviously, everybody knows my industry. I'm in insurance. Um, I love what I do here. I love to inspire people. I love to motivate people. I love to speak life into people. I love to uh, share some of the ideas that have changed my life. And hopefully, uh, because they are principles, you can apply them in your life and get the same results very, very quickly. But it's very, very easy if you're not focused on what you're doing, if you don't have a clear vision of where you're going for you to be distracted and think, hey, this thing could be better for me. This thing could be a better opportunity, right? 
not understanding that what you're doing is you're acting out of a state of almost envy, jealousy, and not inspiration. I understand what I'm saying right now. You're going to see people every single day that may have started their career. Maybe it's in a different industry. Maybe they started their thing a lot earlier than you. Or maybe at the same time, and they seem, they seem to be zooming past you, right? They seem to be doing uh, numbers that you want to do right now. Maybe they're doing $20,000 a month. Maybe they're doing $30,000 a month. Maybe they're making, uh, making deals where they're doing $500,000 every few months. And you're thinking, man, I, I believe this is my gift. I believe, you know, I believe in my profession. I believe in what I'm doing right now, but I'm not doing those numbers. And some of those people, they may be your friends. They may be people that you really, really consult to people that you believe in and they tell you, listen, with your ability, with your skill, Damon, why are you still doing that? <laughs> Damon, why are you still making these little free, free videos? Damon, why are, you, why are you still going out there and grinding and hustling your butt off when you have a skill set that you could apply in this industry or in this profession that would allow you to create the lifestyle that you want right now? Guys, you got to understand that at times you're going to have to say, I'll pass. You have to have so much confidence in what you're doing and the vision that God has given you for your life that you know your time is coming. Guys, I know, I know, I know that that $100,000 a month is already done, right? I know that impact in the lives of over 100 million people is already done. But it's, mm, what pleases God is faith. So the minute that you display that you have some type of doubt whether that's, uh, whether that's conveyed through fear, whether that's conveyed through frustration, whether that's conveyed through envy. Because understand, when you look at somebody else's situation, there's a huge difference, once again, between being inspired and being envious. Inspiration is going to cause you to move. Envy is going to cause you to slow down. Envy is also directly telling God that I don't believe what you did for that person's situation, you can do for me. I learned that from my mentor. What you did for that person's situation, I don't believe can happen for me. That's called envy, guys. You cannot be envious. Because it says in the good word that God is no respecter of person. So whatever he's done for one man, he's going to do for me as well. Right? So please understand why you're on this path right now, why you're on this journey of getting towards that goal, getting towards that dream, getting towards whatever it is that, that you're looking to do in your life. Understand that you may, and hopefully, hopefully you guys can still hear me right now, but understand that you're going to be met with some hardships. Understand there's going to be some things that are going to test your resolve. It's going to be times that you really, truly want to quit. That's when you press on. That's when you understand that God is helping me grow. This is my season for growth. This is my season to, to be molded mm -hmm. into the, the leader that I need to be. Does that make sense? So, um... The other thing that I wanted to talk about with, with, with my good friend's situation, he said he's, uh, he's leading a team of, of young men right now and, and they don't have the type of habits that he would deem as uh, successful habits. Understand that everyone has a habit. One of, the, one of the greatest abilities that we have right now is the ability to create a new habit. Understand that the culmination of your life is really the result of your habits. So if you want to see how to be more successful in whatever area of life you're in, you have to understand that there's a set of habits that you're going to need to adopt in order to get that end result that you're looking for. Now, that's one of the greatest gifts that all of us have, the ability to create a new habit. I know some books say it takes 21 days. Some books says it takes two months. Um, from what I've researched scientifically, it takes at least 63 days. But habits can be created. Habits can be broken. But understand that if you're not clear on the vision that you have for your life, if you're not clear on exactly where you're looking to go, the habits that you have right now are going to be incongruent with what you want your end result to be. So it's going to have to start with your belief system. It's going to have to start with your dream. It's going to have to start with your goals. Does that make sense, guys? All right, so let me show you how I make this smoothie real quick. Uh, a couple of people have asked me to do this. Hey, listen, if you guys have ever been to... Uh... All right, let's go. Um, if you guys have ever been to Whole Foods, listen, listen, they understand how to market, okay? Everybody in there is so happy. Everyone in there is, uh, is so joyful, right? They get you to do every, they get you to buy everything um, that you never even looked at before. Hey, try this, try this Mandarin orange from, from the coast of Costa Rica. It's incredible. 
And then you try it, you're like, man, I gotta have that, right? I think I just bought this 100% juice, probably like 15 bucks, something like that. It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Look, look, I bought, I bought some beet juice. Like, I didn't even need this. What is this little thing, eight bucks, right? So first I'll start off with um, some silk. Guys, you can buy this at Kroger's, you can buy that pretty much anywhere. All right, I got some blueberries. We're gonna throw some blueberries in there. All right, throw some blueberries in there. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Uh, Tierra says I'm always dropping something on the floor, um, which she's right. I did just drop them on the floor. So let's start with some blueberries. I don't know why this connection is bad. What's going on here? I don't know. Oh well. Whatever, hopefully you guys can still hear me. All right, start with some blueberries. Then I'm gonna throw some of my strawberries in here. All right, so we started with the silk. Started with some blueberries. What's going on, Tez? What's going on, Miss Miss Erica? Hey, what's up? When you gonna finish up that test? <laughs> when you gonna finish up that test? Throw your strawberries in there. Right. All right. Cool. Throw your strawberries in there. All right. Down with the strawberries. All right. We got some extra. Extra fresh strawberries. What's going on, Big Tez? How you feeling, man? I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, my guy. Throw some strawberries in there. Mmm, these strawberries look good. Babe, do me a favor. Can you jump on Facebook real quick? Don't bring that over here. Put that right there. I wasn't. Good. Um, sorry, guys. I don't. I don't really talk to her like that. <laughs> what do you want? Um, go on Facebook real quick and just see if the if the connection is bad. I keep saying the connection is bad. I don't know why. Yeah, to watch I'm live studying. Videos. Come on now. Yeah, you should be on every live video. I am. Am I here? You don't get on my live am videos? Here? I'm here now. Listen, if you don't support me, nobody else is going to support me. I need support from my queen Did first. You share these cookies? Yeah, those are Journey's cookies. No. Uh huh. Did those you are Journey's share cookies. The cookies. Doing some raspberries. The some cookies raspberries you ate got, this babe, morning for breakfast. Go, go on there and see if it's connected. I don't know if it's. Miss Erica, can you, see, can you see me okay? Can you see me okay? All right, raspberries, guys. Throw some raspberries in there. I already threw some strawberries in there. All right. Uh, what's up, man? Eating a little Subway for lunch. Ew. Not nasty. Not. You're just nasty, man. All right. I need to check for you. All right. I need you. There we go. All right, start with your vision. Start with your vision, write it down. Write it down, write it down, write it down. All right. Oh, let's go ahead and throw our bananas in there real quick. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. I usually put a whole banana in there. It's probably, the whole thing probably won't fit. Oh, well. All right. A lot of people ask if I'm taking any supplements. Yes, yes, I do take supplements. My diet isn't the best, so you need some supplementation. Rule one protein. Amazing. Hopefully I can get paid for this. Is somebody gonna pay me for this? Alright, some animal pack. Guys, listen. Sponsor me. <laughs> Hearts, you got some hearts. That's what I take. Alright? And I'm still getting about two to three chapters done after work. 80 to 100 percent of the time. Come on, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Listen, I speak increase into every single one of your lives next year. 2017 is gonna be the most incredible year of your life. Um, I already see it. 2017 already was the most incredible year of your life. You know, there's a one. I think Yolanda Adams has a song. It's called um, "Encourage Yourself." Encourage yourself. Ch check it out. In this song, she talks about speaking words into yourself. Like, there's going to be a lot of people that will speak words into your life, but some of the most powerful words that you can speak are the words into yourself. Baby, can you sing that song real quick? Encourage yourself. Sing it, babe. Encourage yourself. Any, anyway, 
it's going to be important that you speak your own words into your life, right? Let me taste that for you. Saying things like, um, saying things like, today is my day. Empowering words. Today is my day, right? Almost not bad. I'm I'm the head and not the. Mm. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Mm. That's good. The cookie tastes better. Mm. It came from whole foods, so it's healthy. Telling yourself, you know what you what you expect in your life, right? All right, so I'll take a scoop of my rule one protein. Right, before you do that. I'm ruining it. Just ruin it. Uh oh. Here comes a little one. All right. Take a scoop of the rule one protein. So, again, guys, I got my silk in there already. The silk, the almond milk. I got raspberries. I got strawberries. I got blueberries in there. Uh, now, take some oats. Sprinkle that in there a little bit. All right. Take a look, he he take could a get bit a better oats. brand, but you know. Yeah, I didn't buy this from Whole Foods. Right. My Whole Foods, this is probably like twenty dollars, right? Oh, probably could get a better brand of this. Hey, but it's natural peanut butter, right? But it's a better brand than the regular one. Who even told you to get in my video? <laughs> Who even told you? Did I tell you to stay upstairs, man? <laughs> you did. You got real comfortable real quick. <laughs> Babe, what have uh, what kind of well, words have you, you been? Here what you kind go. of words have you been speaking into your life lately? Um, positive words. G give, can you give us some examples? No, stay tuned. I'll be posting a video here soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So, peanut butter. I put some oats in there already. This is important. Just some extra protein, guys. I got honey. I throw a little bit of honey in there for taste. Well, maybe a lot of it, whatever. You guys are so admirable. You are as well. Thank you. You are as well. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Say say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Say I am amazing. I am amazing. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Give me a kiss. Get out of here. All right, guys. Today is the ninth. Let's see. All right, so oh, sorry, cinnamon. Put a little bit of cinnamon in there. Today is the ninth of December. My goodness, it's finally snowing outside. Guys, have you written down your goals for 2017 yet? Have you written down the commitments that you have for your life for 2017? I encourage you to do that today if you have not done so yet. Get a great book. There's a book. It's called What to Say When You Speak to Yourself. What's to say when you speak to yourself? I encourage you to go through that. I encourage you to get somebody around you that's going to promote you, somebody that's going to help you, somebody that's going to encourage you, even when you don't believe in yourself. Sometimes the belief somebody else has in you is all the belief that you need until you build up your belief. So guys, have an incredible day. We will see you again soon. Make your smoothies, right? Go to Whole Foods. Buy some $20. That's my favorite. <laughs> $20. Buy some beet juice, right? Buy, uh, and then, listen, get you some good water. Shout out to my man, uh, Josh Anderson. Got him some good water. Hey, 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 Jessica and Marcus, if you guys watch this, do you remember this? Get you some cheesecake, man. Get some good coffee. Hey, Mike Benoit, get you. Hey, shout out my guy, Mike Benoit. Best coffee I've ever tasted. I appreciate you. Again, guys, have an incredible day. Keep believing. Keep doing what you do. If you do that, we will. See you at the top, not from the top, because you deserve it. There we go. <laughs>